Yo, 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 my Star Citizens and new gamers. Welcome back to another episode of Star Citizen with me, Mennings. And in today's episode, I'm going to be going through 3.23 again without my face on the screen and the chat on the screen, just looking at the things that are in it. So we hope you like this video, guys. If you do like this video, don't forget to hit that point, so tickle that like button, run the intro. So a little bit of housework to get through here guys, the code dropping down is a code we've picked at random from our comment section. If you've subscribed to the channel and you want your code to show in the next video, just leave a comment with your code and we'll pick them at random. And um, for anybody that's new to Star Citizen, if you buy um, buy the game, you'll get 5,000 credits when you use somebody's referral and push them up in the rankings. Also, um, check out our Discord in the description as well as the uh, Noobs Gaming uh, org on the RSR site. Uh, with this game coming out um, soon, the 3.23 patch coming out, it's going to focus a lot on multi-crew play, and so jumping in the Discord and jumping on our org will help um, you get on with other people. I don't always go and check the org on the RSI site, so if I, if I haven't answered, just give me a, um, a nudge and I will go and check that out, guys. Also, the names running across the bottom and names of people who have bought a membership on our YouTube channel, really, really appreciate them, guys. And if you want your name to show on there and a shout out with some other goodies like videos early, you can hit that join membership button on the um, YouTube uh, channel. And so today's video, guys, is going to be about going through 3.23 again, but without my face on it, without the text on the screen and all that stuff clogging stuff up. So you get a proper look at it and you can have a real look. So let's get into this one, guys. So let's go into the character customization. So I'm going to pick female. So you've got all these little nodes here, which you can play around with. So the ears, making them bigger, smaller, pulling them out. So a lot of versatility. We're going to have characters that are going to be so different in the verse now, which is good. Not everyone's going to be looking the same. So you got like the finer details of moving the nodes. really good then you got the skin texture here and then we've got the freckles we could take down the freckles more freckles less freckles the opacity of it sunspots you see here And here on the chin, if we take her off and give her a bit more smoother skin, a bit more youthful. Use right mouse button to look around as we need. Um, and then you've got the eye colour here. So like if you wanted that type of colour eyes. And we can lock your skin tone. And then we can take this here and blend different heads. So if you hover over the nose, we can... Say, so like, there's certain things you like of your character, but you like the nose of a different character. We can play around with these for that. And just blend those in to what you want. And then we've got the hair. I'm just going to whip through this quick, guys. You wouldn't spend your own time on it looking as much as you need to. I want to try and keep it a short video, but not, not too long. Ponytail. I liked my spiky one when he had the spiky one. I can't believe they got rid of it. Hope they bring that back because I really liked that one. So I'm going to go back to my ponytail one that I liked. And then you can have change um, the root colour of that. We'll look in a minute. And then you've got facial hair. If you want facial hair, obviously, me being a girl, I'm not going to have facial hair. Could be an alien race. Who knows? The 
bit stubble. So if people are going to try and make themselves, I can guarantee it. So I'm not going to have that on my character. Then we've got the eyebrows. So you can have no eyebrows. Shaped eyebrows. So I like them ones. My character, maybe them ones. Them ones. And then we've got the colour. So we've got the natural colour. So I'll say if our natural colour was like this albany colour or like a yellow colour. And then we've got the dye. So we can dye it a colour, a certain colour. And then we can change the, the variation of that. And then the dye amount. And then the dye, dye variation. So the changes in the dye variation. And then we can play around with the roots as well. And the gradient. You can have it darker in certain places. Whether you want to dye the roots or not. And um, you can apply it from different ones as well. So we want, like, say, white as the dye. And then we change that up so most, more of it can be white. Come up towards the roots or whatever. So you can have, like, the roots being one colour and then the dye being another colour. Bring that further in. And so that's that one. And then we've got the features. So, like, the eyes... What's going on here with the eyes and the colours of around the eyes? I like just that as it is. Under the eyes, over the eyes. Zoom in with your mouse button, by the way. And then we've got lipsticks. If you want lipsticks on. And then we've got whether you want cheeks, colours. And then we can review that from there. You've got different makeup blends here that you can sort of blend in it. There's quite a lot that can be done. Uh, and it definitely, it's definitely going to change a lot for people. And then you can accept that. But they also have here, once we go back into it, the save feature, the load and save feature. So I've saved my first try here. So you can give it a name and then save it. But I'm going to just click this one and import this one in. So there's my character that I made yesterday. I'll play around with it more. But it's good now that you can actually create characters and save them. And you see like the hers just died towards the ponytail. So that's the character customization side of things. Um, so that's that. Then we've got the Arena Commander, which has got, like, I think in it at the moment, it's got some new stuff in it, like the Engineering Squadron Battle, Grav Royale, Engineering Duel, and Engineering Free, free Flight. So I'm not going to, but I'm not going to go into that just yet. And then we're going to the Persistent Universe. And what they do have now is i'll just going to enter in but normally when you pick your location that you can actually play the tutorial and pick any of the locations now from the tutorial so you don't have to just start in area 18 like you used to have to now we can actually start in different places which is good so let's get into this so here we go I died last time I was in. I got shot at the one of the station places. So it's you already we've got different nightgowns. They look cool. And let me just put some claws on. There's my character. Let's just tip, pick pick an undersuit on. Put an undersuit on. What undersuits have we got? And armor. I'll just put any armor on. Whatever I've got. There we are. And I'll put um backpack on, maybe. Yeah. 
I'll put a gun on so you guys can see with guns and stuff like that and weapons. Let's just stick um, F9 on there. Now, let's have a look. So, if I bring this up, we've got Flex, which is, um, I think, like emojis. Then we've got actions to do stuff. Then you've got your personal inventory, which is what we just had. Uh, inspect item, favorite, so you can add favorites, and then primary weapon slot in the favorite, and then your Moby Glass here. So, let's go back. A lot of people don't like the ghosting. So when we come in, we've already got this here. So you can press it, just double tap F um, to do it, but I've got my pad, so I'll use that. And this is your cargo bay, the, your cargo stuff. Now, if we go and press that again, this thing. Emotes, stuff like that. There's a way of interacting with stuff. So if I go to here, I can do use, loot, so, and open storage. So if I do loot, so I'm going to loot whatever this is. This comes up with this screen here. So this is my backpack. Uh, this is the um, local inventory or whatever it is, the box I'm putting it into. And then this is the stuff I've got on my on myself here. So in magazines and stuff like that. And then my backpack here. Click my backpack. Nothing in it. And then my core armor, my core legs. So that's that basically. And then like, you can take it to there. So basically same as this but the way we were just showing you and what i'm going to do guys is i am going to go through this quite quickly because i don't want it to be a massively long video so we've got a uh, new look down here with this and if we press this we've got the map up the top here and when you've got a helmet on it looks like this and if you take my helmet off it looks like this and basically you've got a um You've got like a, a an eyeglass thing in, like a um, contact lens type thing in. So, that's that. I like this up at the top here for your new contracts thing. That's pretty cool. So, I've got my helmet back on now. Another good thing we've, uh, we've got now is the quick action. So, normally you would have to hold Y on my pad. I'm using a pad. So, you would hold Y or you would hold F. And then you would get options that you would scroll down. Whereas with now, you've got a quick action where you can just press it once. Carry and each item will have its own thing. So like the door there's closed, whereas the item that's in my hand is, is to carry. So, and like that one there is to open. So each item has its own thing that you can um, uh, play with. So we've got the carry there, and then you can select um, certain things like for the, the basics or you, say you come across a, a body and you want the main one to be loot then you could set that to be loot itself so it's um i've got no mouse it gets rid of my mouse for some reason i don't know why so that's that's the the quick one i can you can just tap it or double tap it to use your main one A little bit of um, lag at the moment. So that's what's going on in the hubs there. So one of the things I wanted to add, I've seen other, some other, I've seen a couple of other videos after, just after making this one. So I'm going to add some of these in, in post. And first one is going to be just getting down on the floor. So and then the crawling, looking round. So let me look around. Looking around at the 
thing and rolling over. Hey, boys. <laughs> so there's that one I wanted to look at. And I'm going to also look at a couple of other things. So I'll put them in post as they come up. But that's the uh, crawling on the floor one. So we've got here, guys, if we go to our F2, we've now got a map. And so this is a map of the local area. We can zoom out and it'll go straight um, straight out to um, the main maps. But this is where we are. We can use our mouse, right mouse button to move that while we're holding it, and then left mouse button to look around. And we can go through the different floors and look at them. We can go to the different places like the commons, look at these places, zoom out. And points of interest, sir, so like food and drinks and stuff like that. It'll have all these marked out here, as you see. Where certain things are. And then we can go to the spaceport here as well. That's a bit janky the way that, because you zoom in, you can't zoom and roll your wheel. That's a bit weird. So like if you want to go to the spaceport... I can't move it that way neither. And so, yeah, so that's the map there. You can't set pointers with this. Then we've got our main thing here, how much money we've got, our home here, which is a better screen. But because the way your arm, her arm is here, it just goes down. It's a bit weird. And then all of this is cut off at the, the bottom. So it was down at an angle earlier on, like, I think like that, like that. And I, and I said, it was like this sort of thing. And I was saying, oh, it's, it's cut off here. But when I turn my Morbi glass on, I can move my head around. It looks fine. So, yes, you, I think having your Morbi glass on might be better if you got this. So I presume that this will be straight once you, um, once you first do it. So like that, that, it doesn't feel like it's calib it's straight. Now we go back into my Morbi Mor glass where that's turned off. You see how it goes down at an angle? So maybe I've just got to recalibrate my Morbi glass and that's why it's doing that. Because once I turn my Morbi glass on, you see it's not on at the moment. I turn my Morbi glass on and now it's on. And then I go to F2. Now it's much better, you see. So what I was saying earlier on about it being slanted and, and off the screen, um, disregard that, guys, because that seems fine to me now. And I'm presuming if you haven't got a Morbid Glass, it's probably set. But yeah, that's that. I thought I'd show you that. Not the best of things. I'm presuming that will get sorted over time. Then we've got our contracts. So we can look at our contracts. We click that. It'll take us to the contract section over there. So we've got contracts and we've got notifications, which is like our journal. My call is red. And then we've got uh, our reputation. And whether you've got a crime stat and what you're in, the area you're in, the faction you're in. Um, then we've got... Our environment, so like our radiation, external temperature, uh, the pressure, uh, whether the atmosphere is safe to breathe, and then the, the G. Then up here is our vehicles stuff, and we can click this, and there's all the different ships you can look at. The the S the uh, RSV, SRV, should I say? And then we can click that, and that will take us to our landing zone where we can repair and all that stuff and we can just click these at the bottom as well and then we've got our healthy and i'm presuming there was a, a button over here that we can't actually access so that'll be our health there with all the stuff we need and we're going to have oxygen in our suits and fuel in our suits when we eva as well and then we've got our comms uh contracts again which we were just looking at accepted history and beacons again all this cut off at the bot bottom here is is not good We'll have a look at a mission in a minute, and then we've got our star map. I'll show you that again in a second. We've got our assets, like so if we want to go to 
Stanton you should pick there, but for some reason it's not letting me. Commodity price alerts all the same. Our assets, again, was it going to let me? No, it's not going to let me. All the categories. It was doing working last night, this. It had Stanton and then you could pick other things there. But again, it just looks like the old system. Then there's our rep. We've got no rep at the moment. Our wallet. So when we want to begin to trade, um, send money to your party or your friends at the top here. And again, we're just showing you the landing thing. And then this is where you're going to do up your ships. So any ships that you want to do up. So that's the Morby Glass there. So let's go back to the map here. And so if we zoom out with our mouse wheel now, it'll start pulling us out of New Babbage and then to the space state, uh, to the planet here. And we can click these here, hover over them, and it'll give us information like there. So hangars, extra large hangars, garages, hospitals, stuff like that. So when we click these, it'll give us more information on them. I think the way the server is at the moment, this is this was clear yesterday when I was doing it. Um, this is saying the route's not available, obviously, because we're walking around. Um, so, yeah, I don't know why it's why it's a bit blurry in this one. But it wasn't yesterday when I was doing it. So, as you see, when you go to the new Babbage one, it's not, it's not blurry. So we'll keep an eye on that as well. But, yeah, so then we can zoom out more and more and more. We've got the moons here, if you want to go to the moons. And one of the best things about it, this is, so there's the whole system. One of the best things here is the, you can type in a location. So if I was to say uh, SMO, it would come up with all the SMO results. Uh, there we are, SM, oh, maybe the SM0, not SMO. All the time I thought it was SMO, it was SM0. Um, so yeah, Sim Zero, and then you can pick that, and that will push you to it, so, so you can see it. And then once you're in your, your ship, you can actually set a lock, uh, location lock on it. Tells you what's there. So two landing pads, vehicle repair, and freight elevator. So let's go Sim Zero eighteen, maybe. Sim Zero eighteen. It could be just the the thing itself. This. How far in can we go? Mm. So let's um, let's come out of this. So that's just Morbi Glass. Hopefully you guys got to see that. And it's um, there's a lot to 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 take on board when you first start playing. And then you've got your mark markers here, party markers and stuff like that. It's a bit blurry at the moment for some reason. Could be the helmet I've got on. Okay, so let's come out of this. Um, home. And out. Yeah, because let me swap my helmet. Could be the helmet I've got on. And again, like I was saying to you earlier, when you've got your helmet off, you've got your thing up here. Let me put a different helmet on. Um, uh, I'll just put the white suit helmet on for now and see if that Moby Glass now is better, clearer. So that's better. A little bit better anyway. I said last night it was, it was clear, so... No, it's not the arm, mate. Okay. So you can just double tap buttons now and on it. That's so much better. Before I'd have to grab it, hold it, grab the pointer, use my my mouse uh, my mouse or my stick. Now I can just, obviously I'll have to do that with this, but I could just, um, on main doors, I can actually double tap my button or just double tap F on your keyboard. Right, so we want to look at, also, I want to look at when does the health come up? See, the health isn't coming up at the moment. So how do we see that?
I did my piss my bum. Slow on that one. Bit choppy. So we got our here, keep all the whatever, try on suit so you can double tap it to try it on. I'm gonna buy stuff. Just double tap on there. Hi, thanks for coming in. And then we can use our mouse and that all looks the same. We want to buy like say a gun or Tumble one of these there, things. A few more items than what's on display. So looking at that pyro tool there and buy just hold Y to buy it. Is it I that's think cool? You're gonna be happy with that. And a true beam tractor holder. Let me actually just press on it. I can actually just hold it and what if I Yeah, it's not let me just buy it. True beam thing. Wait, let me then. So I have to be down a little bit on it. Janky in it, guns are all sticking out the wall. Just graphics all over the screen still. But that's a much better system once it, once it's actually working. Just holding it to buy it. That'll probably take its time, but it'll come up in the end. It's a bit janky at the moment, guys. It is EPTU. So, oh, what am I doing? <laughs> what the hell? I'm holding something, apparently. I'm looking at it. There is no ping, so I'm trying to ping, but there's no ping to work, and it's not working. Okay. So one thing I do know is, transaction error. One thing I do know is that there is uh, no personal hangers at the moment. So we'll bring up the chat. The chat looks like that now. People are saying it's going to 30k, but what will happen is it may just recover. I've had a couple last night that recovered. Capsule now approaching station. Stand clear of disembarking passengers. The capsule will be leaving the station momentarily. Doors are now closed. It's a bit janky this thing, but I'm still gonna get on it. Hello?
this is the drifting train. These are the drifting trains that we've got now. As long as we get there, we're all good. So yeah, I'm so used to moving my mouse, I can just double tap it and... Or oh, hold Y and press. This is my mouse. So if I was to use my keyboard, it'd be F, just keep an hold of F. Or double tapping F. Any changes to the fine system? I'm liking that everything's a double tap for everything. Oh, that's the same. Okay. So here's your gear storage stuff. So we use that. It's, again, it's just your cargo. It's probably going to be your cargo and um, elevator stuff. And, but like I said, there's no personal angers at the moment. So my spirit got blown up yesterday. Your insurance claim has been sent. Tired of travel? Why not rest at the left? Accommodation. So I'm going to take that out in a second. Some more of these terminals lying around. Ships, the ships they got to rent.
Sam. So, so guys, we got the um, new markers there showing where our ship is. Nothing really much a bit about the ship itself. When I was flying this, it did feel a li little more like a um, like I was flying a spaceship. It felt so much more better. So, getting into the ship doesn't work by double tapping. I still have to use my mouse button. I'm not happy about. Didn't want to be using my mouse buttons. Especially when I've got used to not having to use it. See the fuse boxes there, you've got fuse boxes there now. So I think that's part of the engineering thing is the fuse boxes, having to put stuff in the fuse box. So let's have a look at the flying the ship and master mods and, and that stuff. Turn ship on. Starting pre-flight protocols. All systems operational. So now we've got in our ship, we've now got master mods, or master mods. So at the moment we're in SCM guns, and that's going to give me my shield, which you'll see here. It's going to give me my guns and my shafts and stuff like that. And we also then have a limited speed of 200 and something, so the speed is going to be limited to 200 and whatever it is, 270-ish. But then if we press B, we're going to nav mode. And that basically brings our quantum up so we can quantum into dick. So you can't quantum, not quantum into dick, sorry. So you can't quantum in um, SCM gun mode. You can only quantum in, in nav mode. And as you see now, all the slots changed here. So, you know, the, the new markers for, for jumping to And your speed, uh, where you go in and stuff like that, people that are in your party. And now, so if we bring up this Morbi Glass, the map is of our ship. We're in Anger 4, so you get a good way of looking at what Anger you're in. Um, then, if we look at the vehicles, not the vehicles, the landing here where we can then repair stuff. We can't actually change anything on these because they're all locked at the moment and because of the C ones, I'm in the C one, I can't do nothing with that. Um well it's so basic landing yeah is where you would do your your pet your fuel stuff. And then we go to contracts. I'm gonna pick up a contract in a minute. And then we've got the map, the star map. So let's zoom out of this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna head up to the space station. So we're just gonna to go to Port Tressler, there we are. Got docking, vehicle services, landing pads, uh, large hangars, and then there's information about it. Like I said the other day, this was quite clear, so I'm not too sure why it isn't now. Um, yeah, but it was the other day. 
So let's go back out, back to Port Tressler. So again, you could just put Port Tressler in there and click that and that would should take us to it, but it's not doing so. That's again, it's another bug that needs looking at. Uh, okay. So Port Tressler, we'll go to Port Tressler. And then you'll click here, which will, it's, it'll be green when you can actually go to it and then it'll plot your route or should plot your route. But it's not doing at the moment. So let's leave and then we'll go from there and try it. Open doors. No, I don't want to open doors actually. Request takeoff. Requesting clearance. Stand by. Close doors. Retract landing gear. Oh, straight into the doors. Chain went there. I have noticed that the the, ta um, the tab thing, when you press it, doesn't do anything. It does that, but doesn't actually do anything. I've tried it in uh, the SCM mode as well. So if we go to uh, SCM mode, Press B and go to SCM mode, which is the shields and 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 guns and that. And we'll go up. You notice the middle bit just it's almost like it's floating there. So if we push up now, you'll see the speed. Once we do get to full speed, it's only going to be about 200 knots. Some of my keys are not working here, so. Now my cruise control is not working. I wonder if you can't have cruise control in that. Have to find out in a sec. So altitude now is in a different place. Your altitude now is here. And your compass is now here instead of at the top. Power th thrusters. Maximizing engines. So you'll see now that I'm getting into, into space that my maximum speed at the moment is 260, 270. We're in, sp we're in space, I'm just waiting for that to come up and then I'll boost again. So you, are, you can only go 195 in the C1, 196 in the C1. But then you can get your boost, and, but then once you run out of boost, that's it, you don't, you're not going to have it. So let's, so that's that, and you can see now I can't jump to that, I can't quantum jump to it. So I have to switch to nav, mo uh, nav mode. And as you see at the top here, it's just a thingy in. So if I push forward now, We're at 300 nod already. See how fast we can get to him. Over double the speed. Over double the speed. So another thing there, I'm targeting ships and it's it's not showing them up as like targeted red. So I'm wondering if you can actually target ships in nav mode and not get a crime stat for it or get turned red yourself. So we're on that now and we're calibrated and spooled. So let's jump. 
my buttons are not working, so I'm going to have to use my keyboard. There we are. Just a bit yanky. So there's one thing I wanted to test. So we need to get into the lights to get into the zone. That's not working as well. And so you know it's in this mode, we don't have any shield, we don't have any guns, and we uh, don't have shafts, I don't think, shafts and that. Yeah, we don't have none of that. So this is something I just wanted to check here when we get to Port Chesler. Makes it harder that I can't scan it because I can't get a lay of what it is. I, I rely heavily on that scan. Retract landing. Deploy landing gear. There's the pads I want. Everything's a bit janky, but I mean, it's to be expected. It's in EPTU and I've cleared my shaders folder. So everything's being rebuilt. So dropping down your landing gear, landing. Look, dropping down your landing gear when you're in atmosphere, or even, even like now, you see my speed is going down. That's because my landing gear is down. I'm pushing forward, but my landing gear is down. So I'm slowing down. Yeah, so once you put your landing gear up, you can move faster. Um, so you're probably seeing this now before, before I mention it later on. Oh, shit. My cup hold on or something. Must be. Because I'm bouncing all over the shore really fast as well. Like, I mean, it's uncontrollable. Let's turn my landing gear down. Maybe I need my landing gear down just to be able to control myself. Oh, look at that. It, the, these landing pads look... There's no stuff all over the landing pads. Unless that's just because they haven't come in yet. They haven't spawned in yet. Turn engines off. Powering down systems. Open doors. Open doors. Engines So now that I'm coming off this, you can see your ship up at the top corner. And so one of the things I wanted to test here now was um, was this. So I'm wondering if, I look at that, you can see this is down there. I think, yeah, maybe it's just not spawned in all the stuff that's supposed to be here. We'll soon find out over time, I think. Well, that lot's there, so maybe it is, maybe it is fine. But it looks like there's floating lights there, so yeah, it's just not spawned it in. But one of the things we wanted to test is that. Oh, that's so much better. That's so much better. That's cool. <laughs> that's better. Rolling over. 
<laughs> so when you go forward, when you've rolled over like that and you go forward, you've got to actually go backwards to go backwards. Starting pre-flight protocols. All systems operational. Let's get myself into a position where I can start heading back up there. And then we'll do that and that. Not easy to do it, to control it. And it doesn't let me sort of roll around with my Z. So we're doing that way, and then when we go far over like that, it will turn us round. All we do is just look round and then pull backwards and then roll back round, pull forwards. That's cool. So I just wanted to show that bit off there. The roll, basically. Yes, that's how we want it. That's how we want it. It's a loading zone. Right, so I'm going to go down to one of the places and try and buy some. So the EVA, definitely good there, works. That's good, so much more better. So let's get down to one of the places. See if we can buy some cargo, see what that even looks like, if it's even anything's on there whether we have to actually load it ourselves or if that's not in yet turn engines on so let's go down to smo 18 i want to go to s sm0 13 13 That's 18 in it, I presume. Yeah. We'll go to that one. So it looks, tells you what's there. You can see it's a bit clearer now. And then your route and how much quantum you're going to need. And that's that done. And you've got the thing there. And then your current location, your quantum travel, your current location, the time it's going to take. I don't think it's going to take two seconds, to be honest with you. So I think that might be wrong, but <laughs> there we are. So that's that's that. So my pads um, are not really doing the buttons, so I'm going to have to go through a whole button layout again, I think, with it. Close doors. So I think, I think most of the time I'm going to be in uh, nav mode. That's good that you can see that down there. So we're spooled online. We do have a target, but for some reason it's not. There it is. See, I'm not keen on that now because all the targets look the same. Like, so I used to be able to to know which one was New Babbage because of the shape of it, and which one was a space station because of the shape of it. Now everything's the same. So, should be mining facility up at the top now. Shores required fuel. We've got leaders and people who are aligned and spooled for multi travel.
So the, my looks like my tow bin needs recalibrating as well. So someone asked me the other day about this as well, about do you have to have your thingy spooled up, your quantum drive spooled up to have to see the what's it called? In nav mode, it's always going to be on. You don't hear it all spooled up and that, but in nav mode, you're going to have to have it on all the time. It's always going to be on. You can't turn it off. And I don't know if you saw at the top there when it, that was the cool down. It was red going across down there. So that was the cool down basically. And then he tells you there the information with two within atmosphere and too close for the quantum travel there. But yeah, you can't turn that off, that that quantum. You can only switch to nav mode. Let me just check that actually, just to be sure, because it could just be my pad. Um key bindings, controls, key bindings. Spool, quantum overdrive, engage overdrive by holding it. Yes, it used to be to turn it off, you'd press another one to do it. Um, let me go to my pad. So I would um, hold this modifier here and then press B or X should I say to spool my quantum drive and then engage it. But yeah, so it's not showing it as like for turning it on and off. In it, yeah. So, I think all this lot needs updating to be honest with you. Power thrusters. Power thrusters. It's not pushing it over. Power shields. It's just not updating, maybe. Power engines. Power engines. Nice done it there. Power thrusters. Power thrusters. Yeah, it's doing it. It's just taking its time to do it. So I was on live with this when it came out and I've so I've never been to a outpost. I've not been to an outpost yet with it. Track landing gear. That's it should deploy, but fair enough. Landing gear down. So there was a lot of turbulence coming in there then, and now it's not. Very bright, isn't it? Well lit up. This has really slowed down the um, the atmospheric flight of this in nav mode. So if I switch to B here, was that going to be the same? Right, Christmas. That's the same, same speed. Hmm. Open doors. Turn engines off. Whoa.
Right, that's landed, isn't it? It's landed just not on the pad. I was just thinking, I bet I can't get back on that now. <laughs> we have to figure that out. Yeah, it's all good. Graphics look so much better as well. No red eye. So these red, the red out the top there, which shows us um, the map of the area we're in. Is this going to open? Ah, it's just it's lagging in it. Dark in here. All oh, the lighting's a bit ganky. Still got a bit of work to do, aren't they? It does look cleaner. See, that's a lot cleaner as well. I'm liking this, how clean that bottom section is down here. I'm not too sure we bring that up though. I used to be able to bring it up with my butt, one of my buttons on here, but it's not. It's not showing it. You can't keep it. Well, it probably be simple once we figure it out. Right, so let's try this. I think, I presume this is just, there's no changes here because the, the freight elevators are not in. That's a bit, isn't it? 800 SEU gold, so a lot of gold. Crusader, gold, 64. Success. And I presume that's just been put on my ship. Can I actually buy some here? Just here and buy some now. So I presume that's just been put on my ship. Everything's good, bud. <laughs> just not let me do it. It's coming up, it's just really slow. So you have your stuff on you and then the stuff on them in the box or whatever. So that's another ganky thing happening. It's not good. Hey. Yo.
The cargo has just been put on. Go and have a look at, um, see if we can loot something else. All that stuff at the bottom is much, much clearer. I'm going to loot that one. So, let's click that one, it might let us in, there it. Bit ganky, it's not letting me, but. So as you saw there, there's like a red one that comes up on the side and then a um, uh, one underneath you. And the one underneath is your stuff and the red one is the box itself. Just a bit janky at the moment. Starting pre-flight protocols. All systems operational. So we can't load cargo by we don't load cargo by ourselves just yet. Which is the thing I'm waiting for. But the visuals are so much better. Like the whole visuals of things looks cleaner, the game looks cleaner with the visuals. Really, really good. The wiping helmet's not working.
Then go tractor beam to see if I could actually catch it yet. So it tells you the this 32 SEU, the max grav rating. I didn't tell you what's in it. Safety inspection. I was hoping we could grapple onto it. Constructed by It's just all about the container itself, not what's actually in it. Turn engines on. Close doors. So I've got that. There's no freight elevator, obviously. But what I do want to look check out is a contract and one of the other places as well. So let's have a look at the contracts. Bounty hunting, see what that looks like. That's much cleaner. I don't like how it's cut off here. Investigation, delivery, delivery evaluation, they're picking up the one box. Verified on the oh, so you don't have the um personal now. That's that is your personal. So verified and unverified is your personal. Mercenary. Salvage. Resupply, that's the resupply one, isn't it? Rudd's Growery one. This is this is gonna be a problem, this cut off here. You get your accepted, your history and your beacons. So I wanna is there any to go actually go to let's go to the verified. Missing person report, missing person case. Yeah, I wanted. I like how it rolls up and down. Racing. Maximizing engine. Research. Prob deployment. Mercenary search. Salvage claim. Why I was looking at there was the uh, ones for the, the animals. Will that be an investigation? Missing person, missing person, missing person. So it's all like cave missions, then you got deliveries, and then you bounty hunters. I actually wanted to go down to one of these these um places so let me see if i can find it i wonder if i can just put in the disc drawer this so they're not called that other than micro logistics depot Microtech, jurisdiction, Microtech, landing. Can I, will I get shot if I go to it? So last night I tried going here and I got shot going to it. So I'm not too sure if <laughs> it's a good idea, but let's go. So what does it look like? So I've got to get out of the atmosphere because it's within atmosphere. So it's a logistics sensor, so it should just let me in. There should be no issues. I shouldn't get shut down.
power thrusters. So when my landing gear is down, my um, my speed goes down. So this place shot at me yesterday when I was coming in. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to change my to guns, put a shield on at least. A crested landing and everything. For some reason it was shooting at me. The only thing is, is in that mode, I can't see how far away it is. Oh, right, I've still got shields on. Even though I'm in nap mode. Ah, now there they go. So yesterday it was shooting me. I like the turbulence. There's a lot of turbulence now coming into the atmosphere. Request landing. So it looks like someone's landed just below there. So I wonder if that's a way in. Like a sneaky way in.
I'm getting shot. land request landing that might be a door there I'm still getting shot here. I'm gonna get killed, I think, yeah. There we go. <laughs> oh man. So so that's that guys. I'm gonna call this one. Um yeah, it's mainly all the new changes are all sort of visual at the moment and and there's a lot of janky things going on. Some of the things that we wanted are not in there. I'm liking the master modes. I'm liking how my landing gear slowed me down, having to switch between the two of those. Not too sure why I got sh getting shut down from that place yet. Um, we'll have to figure that out. Uh, I'm just going to keep playing this over the next couple of days or something and, and figure things out and then we'll get back with more videos. So we hope you like this video guys. If you do, don't forget to hit that button, tickle that like button, hit the bell and subscribe notification and um, yeah, uh, we'll see you out there guys in the verse. Take care.